So you want to be a pharmacist. Good for you. The first step is getting into pharmacy school. But getting into pharmacy school starts way before you even think about applying. It starts when you're in your freshman year of college, maybe even high school. So here's what I did and here's what I feel like would is the best and easiest way to get in. First of all, show your interest in pharmacy. Join a pre-pharmacy group in your college. Um, try to work at a pharmacy. See if you can go to CVS or Walgreens for one of those um, technician training things and be a pharmacy technician. But I never did that and I mean, I'm fine. Um, or try working in an independent pharmacy. Even if you're in the pharmacy setting as a cashier like how I was, you're still getting the interaction with the customers and learning the drug names and getting into the system and um, interacting with the pharmacist, seeing what they do, the pharmacy tech, seeing what they have to do, what their side of it is. And that's really what they're looking for with applicants they want to see that you are interested in pharmacy that you took the time to put yourself in the environment to see if it really is something you want to do um, for me I was also the president of my pre-pharmacy society and during my interviews you know they asked me about that they asked me things like so and as far as like current events what is your opinion on this and that this and that if you're not in the pharmacy setting and you've never been and you don't know anything about that, it's gonna look kind of bad on you. So that's like my biggest piece of advice. Get into what you're trying to do and get a better understanding of it so that when the interviews come along, you're good. The other thing about how to get into pharmacy school, I would say would be take your PCAT early. Take the July ones, take the, what was it? the September one. I took the September one, so I was considered kind of an early bird. Um, and I submitted my application late September, got my interviews um, October, knew where I was going, got acceptances and knew where I was going by December. And so the second semester that I had to finish out of my senior year of college was a piece of cake. It was, all I had to do was pass, get C's, you know? I mean, obviously you're gonna aim for more than just a C, but I'm saying if you're an early bird, you don't have to worry about all that stress that comes with, I don't know if I'm taking a gap year, I don't know if I'm doing this or doing that, and you'll be fine. Um, but as far as PCAT, I studied maybe like the month before I took it. Um, I ended up getting an 82, got 70s in most of the other subjects, but I got a 95 in biology and that clearly skyrocketed my PCAT score, so that's good. Um, and I used just two books, the Kaplan PCAT book and then the Barron's PCAT book. And just practice and really take the online test because that helps you to see kind of like how you're doing in those areas. But um, that is really it. This, this is all my advice that I have for you. So. Get some experience in the pharmacy setting, take your PCAT early and apply early, and if you follow those steps, really that's all you need to get into pharmacy school. I didn't find it to be that hard. I'm going to the University of Florida College of Pharmacy in Gainesville. I'll be class of 2020. And this is what I did. So good luck.